And now for your Bulldog News. Good morning, Arveda. I'm Ron Cordero. And I'm Peyton Maness, and we're here with your Bulldog News. That's right, guys. And including today, only three days left for seniors. Congratulations, and good luck to all seniors. Yearbooks are here. If you have ordered a yearbook and not have picked it up, get it from the financial office. There are also some extras for sale. If you would like to buy a yearbook, you can buy one for $75. All fines need to be paid this week. Seniors, if you don't have all your fines paid for, you will not be able to walk and receive your diploma. Also, all lockers must be cleaned out by noon on Tuesday, May 20th. Combinations will be changed the same day, so plan accordingly. We now we take you to Attorney Volio with a look at the school's reaction about the yearbook. A week ago, today, on last Thursday, our Vaz yearbooks came in and many had their own opinions on it. The cover is totally like the MGM uh, movie factory uh, logo at the beginning of the movies. I love it. They took out the line and stuck in the bulldog. And the gold is like a real, you know, stellar, celebratory kind of a color. The best part of the yearbook to me is that we do our best to represent everyone in the school because everyone in the school is an important part of the community that we've built. Um, yeah, I like how the yearbook came out because all the yearbook staff are pretty all the way. I thought the yearbook looked really good. Everybody did their fair share of work and I thought it came out excellent. Some parts of the yearbook needed a little bit of improvement. You know, trying to give more, while the books already are reflective of everyone in school, you need to give everyone more equal time because there's different kinds of activities people are involved or not involved in. It's hard to get everyone equal attention. That's something I really want to work on is getting them more attention. More editing throughout the yearbook. There was a lot of spelling mistakes, and I would have just tried to make it more intriguing than just oh pictures and then do some comments. I would change how the baseball games were Getting more interesting pictures and better quotes with the most value with the players. Uh, honestly, in my personal opinion, I think it's kind of lame because I mean it's been a hundred years and. It's like not as showy and flashy as it could have been. But a lot of the yearbook came out great. I thought the photographs were awesome. I mean, some of the candid pictures, that the way they picked it up, I don't know how many pictures you have to take to get that many good pictures, but uh, it must take a lot of time and effort, so. I would just keep the seniors page like with the whole class picture because it probably is the best page throughout the whole yearbook. Um, I think it's pretty cool because I'm graduating this year and uh, I don't know, there's not really much to look back except maybe the 100 view, but uh, yeah. It does represent the school well, but that's not to say it does a perfect job of it. I don't think anything in this world is ever perfect and we'll always be seeking to improve. And next year we'll be doing that as well and in years after that, try to make sure that everyone who makes this a special place is made to feel special with the yearbook. Thanks, Eternity. If you plan to take AP classes next year, challenge yourself and prepare for the expectations in AP Boot Camp. Boot Camp is Monday, June 2nd to Friday, June 13th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The cost is $40 and registration is next Tuesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 5.30 in the lob lobby. You can earn a quarter of a credit of an elective. Now we take you to Shelby Cavender with a senior story about Desmus Archuleta. Desmus is not like your average man. Uh, in order to uh, get this, I just had to basically take a uh, double up on science and math every year and take some extra courses online. He has done honors earth science. He's done physics with calculus, AP physics with calculus, and AP physics without calculus. He is extremely smart. Uh, he, he is uh, very what I would call intuitive. The biggest difference for him is he's been able to stay focused and keep going. Um, and I think him trying to graduate early has allowed him to do that. The last class he's doing as an independent study is, um, it's the sophomore level class that stu physics students at the University of Colorado at Denver take when they're physics majors. So he is doing, um, I guess that would be 12th, 14th grade um, physics, which is pretty cool. It's an introduction to quantum mechanics. So it's a class just before they do quantum mechanics. <laughs> very, very yucky math. Very um, weird stuff, but super cool. Desmus likes to practice physics. 
and do homework. So I met Desmus when I was in eighth grade and he was a seventh grader and we had joint classes at North Nevada. And he's always been way smarter than me. Um, and then he came to Arvada and I was really excited and we, we became pretty good friends. And then last year we had calculus together and you know, he was like the smartest kid in the class and he's just awesome and he's just fun to be around and he he's funny and he's a great actor and we have all these great inside jokes and he's just really fun to be around. But he's not going to graduate because he's a junior. Shelby. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Peyton Manus. And I'm Ron Cordero. Have a great day, Arvada. It's a great day even I've had a bulldog. Woof, woof. <laughs> we now take you to Eternity of Olio and... Oh, jeez. Ron! We were on the last one! Now, we take you to... <laughs> we now take you to... Oh, we now take you to Eternity of Olio with a look at our school's record... <laughs> recognition. Is that recognition? It says reaction! Re Let me do it. Just calm down. We now take you to Eternity of Olio with a look at... Uh, I, that messes me up. We now take you to Eternity of Olio with a look at... at wait, what is that? <laughs> I like okay, I'm reading it. Get ready. I'm reading it, not you. Okay. Now we take you to Eternity of Olio with a look at the school's reaction about the yearbook. That wasn't so freaking hard. Okay.